Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here on Overall Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV on Realm Reborn. It is year two, day 75 for EDSS and the Realm Reborn. And yesterday, we had pretty much, not only did it hit the fan, but it pretty much sprayed everything in a many different directions. After we found out that Ellie had been conspiring with the Phantom Thief the whole time, which was revealed to be her sister, the girl in pink, lying unconscious before you. And, in her last act before she was knocked unconscious by Hildebrand's mother, Julian, she actually turned Hildebrand into a zombie once again. And, yeah, if you're wondering why Godbert's knocked out, well, I mentioned Julian is Hildebrand's mother, which means that Godbert suffered for what happened to Hildebrand. And so, yeah, the Miss uh, Ellie's sister Cece revealed that Ulda has been keeping CIA style secrets for many years and that she was out for revenge for her fallen nation of Silda. And so, with all this crap going on, we now have to try and figure out what we're going to do next because we're pretty much going to have to do whatever Julian says if we don't want to get whacked by her skillet. Because, yeah, it took out Cece and it took out Godbird as well. So, yeah, we better do what she says or else, yeah, that's going to be one of the ugliest concussions you will ever see. Julian, I'm at your service. Please do not hurt me. Reunited with my dear boy for the first time in ages and just look at him. He's green. Fortunately, there's still time to revive the zombie curse and I know just the remedy. A file of holy water. The ingredients are simple. A tattoo of all the rags and a file of twice distilled water. St. Gloss at the market stocks the former, and the latter you can procure from a trader by the name of Guest. Now hurry! Once the poison spreads through his veins, no antidote will save him. In the meantime, I will search for the Bumbler's Bumbling Assistant. With any luck, Miss Nashu is still alive. Yeah, and look who's back. Oh, that's smart. You gads, Hilda, you're looking none too hot at yourself. Yeah, Gilgamesh ended up on the receiving end of Julian's frying pan, too. No thanks to you, you bumbling oaf. Now, are you going to accompany Edie here and make yourself useful, or do I have to reintroduce you to that wall? Uh, uh but of course, my lady. Gilgamesh is ever at your service. Sin called sundries, was it? Come now, Edie, there's work to be done. <laughs> yeah. Truce for now, but we'll settle this later. Yeah, I think could do you better join us too. You don't want to end up in Julian's frying pan, believe you me when I say that! And so away we go! I know that the fastest way to get to where we need to go is by taking the Ethernet shard and taking it over to the Weaver's Guild. And so that is where we go next. And we're off and running. Only once we get the sprint fully recharged, then yeah, we'll get going here. But man, oh man, we better get our lead out or else we're gonna be on the receiving end of Julian's skillet and I don't want that to happen. And you know, like, how's the scene like what happened at the end of the last episode to scare you straight? Saint God, your assistance please, and quickly! Oversold rags, you say? I fear that I've only have got a single tattle left in stock, and it's already been spoken for. But my good man, you must reconsider. My dear friend's life, and quite possibly my own as well, hangs in the balance. I sympathize with your plight, friend, but a man has to make a living. I've been promised a copious supply of rare chimera membrane for these rags. Unless you can offer me the same, no deal. Ah, and you expect us to be able to summon such rarity out of nowhere at a moment's notice? Well, look at what we have here. If it isn't the War of Life in the Colosseum, funny who you meet at the markets. Hey, will not you know it? It's Avala. Learned your lesson from before in the previous mystery. As it happens, I just returned from my train, Haining, and the slaying of ten Chimera just happened to be my task for the day. If it's Chimera membrane you'll seek, you're more than welcome to a share. Then I guess we're doing a deal here. My lady, you are far too kind. 
Don't mention it. If it hadn't been for Inspector Hildebrand and Edie here, I'd still be tag teaming with that slimy beast and cheating my way to fame and fortune. And I'm a woman who pays her debts. Well, thank you very much, Miss Avila. Yeah, you know, still on the road to redemption. Full take me if it wasn't that Avila the Tempest. Ever since she confessed to her trickery and started climbing back from the world of the ranks, I've been proud to call myself one of her biggest fans. Why, well, I've half a mind to give you the rags you seek simply for the privilege of meeting her. Well, that'll be a great help, Mr. Sinkgaard. And of course, you're getting the Chimera membranes as a result, too. A kind sentiment, my good man. But are we, more, we are more than happy to uphold our side of the bargain, aren't we? And with this, our task is done. Now let us find this traitor. Uh, sorry. Now let us find this traitor named Guest. <laughs> yeah, we're walking with a purpose now. But walking ain't gonna get it uh, done here. No way. Oh, back over in Husting Strip, huh? Well then, I guess we know what we do next and we run for it. Oh, we so run for it. Um, And we gotta run this way. We gotta run this way in order to get to where we're going next. Make a break for it, man. Not only is the zombie's life at stake, but so is my skull. <laughs> Alright, back up the stairs. Get the lead out, Edie. We don't have much time to save ourselves, much less Hildebrand. Oh, he's all the way up on the far end. What? Oh, I, th I think it works out for me. But let's see if it does. Because, yeah, it seems like he's over out near where the Alchemist Guild was. Yes, Mr. Guest. Yeah, we could have just gone to the Alchemist Guild and accomplished the same thing. The blundering Mandeville boy is on his last legs and you need something of mine to save him, you say? Perhaps you could give me a good reason why I should care. Those bloody Mandevilles are richer than the traders themselves, yet they have the audacity to haggle me down to the last skill for every purchase. If the family line ended today, I'd be a happier and wealthy man. And now I believe the bow room calls. Good day to you, and do pass along my condolences to the grieving parents. Have you not a shred of honor or compassion in that spindly body? Business rival or no, the man is on death's doorstep. Looks like we need someone else to call in a favor. After the events of that day, my father will not so easily forgive and forget. But it matters not to me. No, my love is for you is as deep as the seven seas. I beg you, my lady, may I have this dance? And now coming in. Yeah. Did the arranged marriage go off as after all? Hello there. Yes, that is the Lapis Maiden from our third Hodebrand mystery. Miss Arabella. Evie, what a lovely surprise! Are you here for the ball perchance? Well, this is not what we're actually doing. Uh, heavens! The poor inspector! Well, if it isn't the Lapis Maiden in the flesh, what say you bid farewell to preening fops and scuffy adventurers and show a dance with the cultured gentleman befitting your great beauty? Yeah, that would be her husband, Vaughn. Why, it would be a pleasure and an honor both, my lord. <laughs> Looks like he scored. But we need to score something too, you know. Provided you first provide my good friend Edie with the bottle of twice the still water that he seeks. Yeah, business deal, sir. Yeah, you do that sort of thing in old die, I know for, for sure. I know for a fact. You know this man! Oh, if that is the price it would set, then so be it. Take it. It's barely worth its weight in guilt anyway. Now, shall we, Miss Arabella? Thank you very much. For saving my ass. <laughs> and, yeah, you too, Miss Arabella. You also have done the same. In a much more kindly way, though. <laughs> yeah, go out, chase after your dance partner. I knew Hildy to be a worthy rival, but to think he was this beloved by so many. Clearly, this one would deeply mourn his loss. Quickly, Edie, let us deliver these goods while there is still time to save him. And us. Alright. Let's hope that this can save the inspector. Because if it doesn't... Oh boy. I can only imagine what will happen. 
Yeah, you better get the lead out. Julian, we're here. And hopefully we're still alive. I trust the two of you wouldn't dare to come back empty-handed? Of course not, ma'am. Brought you back everything you wanted. Bloody brilliant! I, I'd take you over my muscle-headed half of a husband any day. No thanks, already accounted for. Already married to Sakura Amaterasu, thanks. Now, stand back and let me show you some real Mandeville home cooking. Oh, Thor, with your bloody bugger, guide my skillet! Hi, that should stop the Venom Spread. Now it's up to Hildy to flush out what's left of his system. Don't worry, he's my son after all. I reckon he's still got some fight left in him. I would hope so too. For my sake. Hey there, Nashu. And Bryden. Look who I found her. She was slumbering, obviously, in the rubbish strewn corner of her lane. Boy, did that not feel good! Yeah, napping isn't all that good to Hildebrain right now. Yes, I'm sure I did. Idi, what has it that Ellie has been sat at the Sylvian ruins? We must go there with all haste. Yeah, now that we know what's at stake. You've done well, my dear boy, today. Don't worry, I'll handle things from here. There's a nice warm bed for him, and I think I know a few specialists who might know a thing or two about his condition. What in the seven hours are you standing firm for? The future of all dolls at stake! Indeed it is. We know what must be done, so let's go and do it. Edie, my strength is yours as well. For Ulda and for our friend Hildy. You! You remind me of my husband, what with you having more muscles than sense. If you're so keen on making yourself useful, why don't you run to the markets and bring me some fire crystals? Keeping my dear boy warm is the key to fighting off the simplification. Let's see, I believe 20 crates or so should suffice. <laughs> uh, I am not a warrior, not an, uh, uh, yes, my lady. Yeah, you know what happened last time. You don't want an encore. I know I don't want an encore. <laughs> yeah, he's only got three. Only 17 more to go. I sank could do the burden must sim uh, simply to secure my long-awaited final confrontation with Edie. That said, the events of today have given me cause to reflect. Edie and Hildy, oh, to be blessed with such veritable legions of friends tried and true. But alas, not I. Only one true friend have I ever known, and he's long lost to me. <laughs> you are a fine bird and have given me great comfort in my travels. But you will never be Enkidu, my one true companion. Oh, my friend, were you here with me? Even Edie could not stand against our combined might. Oh, Enkidu, wherever you may wander, hear my words and return to my side. Enkidu, do you hear me? Enkidu! <laughs> you can't! What was that flush from the heavens? It nearly blinded me, and- What? The crystals? Where are they gone? Fancy meeting you here, old friend. That voice! Could it be? My faithful companion, why must you always make me wait so? And so with that, we complete this challenge. And so now we get to move on to the next one. So, Junin will send us on our way with the next challenge, entitled... And it's also the last one, Her Last Vow. Julian would send you on your way. What are you doing dilling dallying around here? Let me jog your memory. There's a moon-sick maid digging around at the Soda excavation site with her mind set on turning old in the land of the walking dead! Your concern for Hildy is most touching, but don't you worry. Mommy dearest isn't going to let her beloved son kick the bucket that easily. So now we go to the Silda excavation site, but I can I actually don't know where that is. Let me look up the journal to see where exactly they want us to go. Because, yeah, I actually... I, I think I do know where the Silda excavation site may be. Um... Was it Western Fenland? That I know if it's not there, then it's obviously gonna be um because I know it's in a place where there is 
or Veen? No, it is, it's in Central Thailand. Okay. I know it's in one of the points um, from a ravine. So yeah, we'll go to Central Thailand. Let's get on our chocobo and go. Yeah, I had to make a quick um, type over to um, someone on Skype in between scenes, but don't worry. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> so away we go! Heading towards the west, towards the Silda excavation site. Yeah, I was right, it is in a crevasse. Namely, the one that's showing up on our left. And as you can see, the excavation site is right over there. So let's speak with Phyllis and get our go on. We've managed to track down Miss Sally just up ahead, where your friends watch over as we speak. Yet no matter how many times we try to reach out to her, she refuses to so much as answer. Well, obviously, because she's on the lam now. Needless to say, we've considered physically in keep incapacitating her, but that crate she is sitting on isn't just a makeshift chair, it's filled to the brim with the traitor's spurn. One misstep and the consequences could be dire indeed. You are our only hope, Edie. Even in a single-minded rage, surely the time we spend together must still count for something. You need not put yourself in undue danger. I only ask that you step forth to where your voice may be heard and call out your friend's name. I beg of you, Edie, surely if anyone can convince the woman to abandon her madness, it is you. And so, yeah, we now have to actually call out to Ellie, but we have to do it in any particular spot, as dictated by the icon on the map. It's gotta be over here. Where everyone else is standing. So, yeah, Briarden's here, Gobbert's here, Gilgamesh is here, and even Nashu is here, so... Got a stain in destination. I gotta pull out my keyboard for this and type Ellie in quotes. And we'll see if that gets her attention. Well, there she is, even with a sword in her hand. But looks like she's dozed off. Why is she wearing old da uh, earrings? I mean, wouldn't her rebellion want her to not wear them? Edie, I suggest you leave this place while you still can. I bear you no grudge, but should you so much stink of interfering, I'll not hesitate to turn you into a zombie too. So it was you after all. Consider me disappointed. Well, we gotta do something. Your sister Cece is already in custody. Surrender now, and I will see that no harm befalls her. I don't think she's gonna do that. Well, she is. We have taken her away from her crate. How little will you understand us, Inspector? Then again, how could one born into a life of power and privilege ever hope to understand? Cece and I have no family, no friends, no fortune, nothing. Two sisters against the world, with our only quest for justice to give us meaning. Long ago, we made a vow. Should the worst happen, our mission takes priority over all. Yes, over our own wretched lives. Do you see now? Anything I might have once had to lose, I lost long ago. Now stand down or suffer the same fate as the old darn dogs you would defend. And he stops this madness! I'm sorry, Inspector. Uh, yeah, it looks like the zombies have come out to party early. Yeah, a whole bunch of victims are already claimed. 
There's too many of them. Oh god, Bert. Yeah, you want to put your hammer to use? And at least put your clothes back on? All in the day's work for a mandible man and... Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> he went too fast. He talked too fast for me. Whoa, he can even make his hammer huge. And do insane things with it. But of course, what were we expecting? Boom goes the dynamite, apparently. Yeah, no, they're all doing the Hildebrand. Run for your life, Nashu! And now it's Mr. Gilgamesh's turn to slay a few zombies. <laughs> and Nashu approves. But there's still many more to come. Yeah, they're just coming out from all over the place. You only delay the inevitable. I have an entire legion of the undead at my beck and call. Face it, it's only with Inspector Hildebrand's ridiculously good fortune that you've made it even this far, and he's as good as six forms under. Be forewarned, girl. Know that I speak from experience when I say, underestimate Hildy, and you do sort your own peril. I'm afraid you underestimate me as well. No mere splash of holy water can stave off the effects of the traitor's spurn. I fear the good luck inspector's luck has finally run out. Thor's balls is there no end to them? I'm not liking our chances. Greg, was it? <laughs> yeah, as Hildebrand calls him. Yeah, you gotta answer to me too. It's a shame to lose you, Edie, warrior of light that you are. Yet you might yet have served us one last purpose for us. Go forth, my zombie minions! Um, I think she... has had sabotage against her. Like, why are they posing like Hildebrand? Like, yeah, what's going on? Is it him? Uh-oh. When darkness falls and hope fades to despair, four warriors born of light shall ascend in the righteous glare. Bugger me with a broadsword. Are my eyes to be believed? Yeah. That pose. No, these are not four warriors of light that I see. Yeah. They're all showing off and posing. They are four gentlemen of light! And boy, he blinks fast. Yeah, and Inspector Hildebrand is as good as new. Just so, my good man. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire has made his triumphant return. Did you miss me? <laughs> Do we have to answer that question? Yeah, he brought some of his old zombie friends. And even the bald headed guy from the first adventure, too. <laughs> Aye, we meet again, girl. Tell me you got my snowball tonic, or I'll fashion myself away from your lovely locks after I rip them clean from your bloody head. Oh, hello there, Mr. Eleazar. Cool, you're looking absolutely resplendent today. I impossible! The holy water couldn't have cured him. It didn't. Fortunately, our overlords spent quite some time building up an immunity to zombie powder. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to iocane powder. When we heard that Master Zombie Brand was at the risk of joining the actual dead, we knew we had to take action. In immunity to... I'm just going to pretend that makes any kind of sense. Has anything you've seen in any of these mysteries ever made any sense, Bryden? Yeah, and now that the zombie army has been paralyzed and posing... The game is up, Miss Shelley. Pray abandon this madness. Besides, plots of mass murder wholly shoot a lady like yourself. I give. 
<laughs> yeah, with your zombie army striking poses. Yeah, it is. It's over. It's all over. Inspector Bryden, you said there was something you would tell me when this was all through. I imagine you have no words for me now. Ellie, your powers of deduction are wanting. You said that you had lost everything and everyone you had to lose, did you not? As for me, I have found something. Someone with whom I never intend to part. Uh, you aren't suggesting... I care not if it takes years, even decades. When you emerge from your jail cell a free woman, I will be there. What say you? He's actually serious. He's actually offering to marry her. That's just insane. The only good thing about this is that we've convinced Ellie to give up the zombie powder. And Miss Ellie is under arrest. Miss Ellie, while the crimes perpetrated by you and your sister are unpardonable, you are far from the only ones guilty. On behalf of the Syndicate, I offer my apologies for the false aspirations cast upon your ancestors. Or rather, the false aspersions, sorry. You, cannot, you said that the nation of Waldar was built on lies. Seeing what I have seen today, I cannot deny your words. It will not be an easy task to rewrite, nay, restore history. But I know this. I will do everything in my power to bring the truth to the fore. And you can do it with your clothes on, please, Garbert. Now, for you, Bryden. Now that you've pretty much admitted to being smitten with the villain. And in the meantime, Gilgamesh having an opportunity to oversee this. You know, I'll bet he still wants his fight. Unless we've convinced him to give it up. Ahem! Are we not forgetting someone here? And by someone, I mean me! If you are quite done playing coke and dagger, I require Edie's presence for a matter of far greater importance. I, the time of our long too of our too long delayed confrontation is nigh. Like, are you really sure you want to go through with this? Even all that after all these circumstances, why the long faced friend? Oh, but mayhap this will have you singing a happier tune. Sword to sword, well, I came with a lance. Could it be the treaty blade and the true one of that? None other, and I have not the slightest intention of parting with it save to the one who would defeat me in single combat. Ah, but I misspeak. It will not be single combat this time. Is that my cue, old friend? Yeah, everyone looks around, and descending from the skies, the true Inkadu. Yeah, have a look at this freak of nature. Quite the winged harpy, if I do say so myself. Thor be merciful! What is that abomination? Some new breed of void scent? Abomination! All thank you to address my companion with, with courtesy, girl. Ah, but twas the most curious thing. There I was, holding a crate full of crystals for Hildy's mother, and thinking how much better things would be if my dear friend Inkadu were here. Then came a flash from the heavens, and the next time I knew, there he was! By the gorge it makes perfect sense. Doubtless the crystals held Greg's heart for plea, summoning forth his friend. Nay, no mere friend, but rather the primal Inkadu. Primal? And now the world has completely and utterly ceased to be bound by the laws of logic. Only in this realm, apparently. Edie, you may have bested me in the past, but facing the two of us together will not prove so easy a task. And yet I will trust you will not shirk from the challenge. I, Enkadu, and I shall await you at Amdapur Keep. 
with a smile on his face, no less. And so, away they go. Yeah, we don't end this in old R. Tis a ways from here, but what better venue for our climactic confrontation? If you would claim the treaty blade, then claim it from me as a warrior. To the skies, Inkadu! To the skies! And so away they fly. Swagash one, that's not very gentlemanly of you, Greg. Comedy to underpour. <laughs> this is a great development indeed. To think that one man could summon a primal on his own, I must send word to the sons at once. The signs are already here. Yeah, Captain Phyllis, I am among them. Oh, but of course, I near forgotten we had a warrior of light in our very midst. Please, Edie, you are our only hope to slay the primal and reclaim the blade. <laughs> yeah, go get him. And so, yes. Next stop, Amdapur Keep. So, we'll join you there in a moment. So, we're wondering... Now that we've arrived at Anthropore Keep, we saw Hildebrand make a mad dash to go after Gilgamesh. We see his icon, but given this string of luck, what do you think happened to him? Yeah, uh huh. What else would happen to him after he tried to get into a confrontation? Head first into the ground and feet sticking straight up in the air. Hildebrand, you are not a fighter at all. Oh, it is that you, Edie. Pray forgive me. I was right on Greg's trail when I encountered a subterranean curiosity that demanded my immediate attention. <laughs> uh, ever the good liar. I will be concluding my investigation forthwith, but in the meantime, might I trouble you to entertain Greg and his primal friend in my stead. Together, we will reclaim the treaty blade from that knave, Edie. Yes, uh, just go on ahead. I'll be along directly. And so now, we get the... Yeah, we go to Anzapur Keep, but it's not in normal mode or in hard mode. We go to the battle in the Big Keep. A very unique portion of Anzapur Keep. And so, we will make our way there. So, give me a moment, and we will go and have our final battle in the Hildebrand Mysteries. And so, the long-awaited rematch has come with an added twist. The assistance of the true Enkidu at long last to meet again on the battlefield. I dare say Enkidu shall come to enjoy our tussles as much as I. You, however, might not find this one so enjoyable, unless you enjoy getting pounded senseless. Ha! Yeah, this freaky harpy comes to play here, people. So, myself, along with seven others, will take on this challenge, including, of course, my lovely Sakura, who is trying to get everyone ready for the fight, but someone's already false started! Yeah, one of the tanks has already decided, you know what, screw this, we're just gonna get started anyway! So the main challenge is that, just like it was the first time we faced Gilgamesh, this is a two-part battle. But of course, this comes with the inclusion of Enkidu. However, if you isolate Mr. Enkidu and just keep pulling the crap out of them, then we can move on to the next part of this fight. So there are a few tricks like that one. Make sure that no one gets too close. Stay away from any scary conical AoE that Enkidu might cast. Alright, let's pound away. You may have noticed that the music that we're listening to for this fight, as opposed to the first time we take on Gilgamesh over in Carthus, is a bit different. But it's still the same score. It's, this one's just uh, another variation of the song. Oh, I got turned into a chicken. I got turned into a chicken and I got run up in the air. I think that was actually supposed to happen, actually. That wasn't, though. That was not supposed to happen. I think, yeah, I think I'm supposed to ride these. Oh, we have a healer down. That's never good. If we lose them both, we're in trouble. 
Right, back on it. Yeah, your master wants to sucker. Yeah, he's gonna give a heal to um, Gilgamesh, but of course, our focus is on Inkadu. But once we've got him down, we're fine, unless we get slow down and heavy for an entire minute. Plus, on top of that, game turned into a chicken yet again. Yeah, no, no shortage of tricks coming from Gilgamesh and Enkidu, because yeah, this is a far different fight. And I am almost dead. I am almost dead. All I can do is just wander around mercilessly and helplessly. Now we're turning to fighting Enkidu. Yeah, because pretty much it's the job of the other tank as well as myself and my fellow brother Dragoon that we get ourselves to the end here somehow. To be honest, I'm actually surprised that we have not been assumed yet. Uh, I'm shocked that my lovely wife has not cured us from this malady. Well, it's about to expire anyway. Alright, so back to normal. I just hope we don't get turned into chickens again before we dispatch a bank do. We're gonna dispatch him, we're gonna dispose of him, we're gonna make an example of him so that Gilgamesh knows exactly who he's up against. Yeah, I have the faithful. Hmm? And with that, are the bonds of friendship so fragile? No, they're not. It's just that in this instance, he couldn't hold his own. And so now. Run away? Oh, yeah, well, we will need to run away. Go, 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 go! Yeah, we'll have to... We won't get a chance to see how that cutscene holds holds out. Needless to say, Gilgamesh, if we saw it through to the end, he actually grew in size. He actually got a little bigger. And he's actually brought out all of his fighting arms so that he can use all of his weapons. So now this is what we're up against. We'll stay clear of Woman Slash. Now, fighting on. Okay, now we're back to the original version of this song. Oh, stay clear of any AoE. Because, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, white's a very sacred color, but not in the hands of Gilgamesh. Okay, when someone gets chained, you have to break them free from their chains. This is an absolute must, because they'll always attack a healer, and this situation, if the chain remains on the healer long enough, they will die. So yeah, he's basically cutting us down at the knees, as it were. He takes out a healer. Ooh, mad dash over there. Ooh, hit me with the Masamune move. That's never good. The greatest worry we have is not yet shown up. Stay clear, Woolwind Slash. And continue. Oh, yeah, that won't, that move hurts. And since it's all over the field, there's nothing you can really do about that. You just have to bring him there. And he said someone just woke the dragon. He wasn't kidding. There are four dragon heads on the field now, and you have to destroy as many of them as you can. And it looks like, okay, yeah, they've been marked. Okay, I shall follow the marking then. And try and stay out of the way while that's going on. Yeah, they don't all have to be destroyed, but you have to at least destroy as many of them as possible because if they're all allowed to stand, then you will wipe. Yeah, so they'll just do this crazy dance, as it were. Oh, look out. Yeah, I couldn't avoid that one. How come it's just that my brother Dragoon and I, oh, we were in trouble. 
Well, actually, that wasn't as bad as I was fearing. Oh, chain on the field. Chain on the field. Chain on the field. Got to deal with it. Don't worry, Zeomus. <laughs> we'll get save you, and we have. And back on it. Keep on going. And as you can see, Gilgamesh has a lot more HP this time. And of course, he would since he's been getting himself quite stronger since we last saw him. Too bad Enkidu couldn't bail him out here. Alright. Pink AoE spread out across the field, but as you saw, there were safe spots in which to find. Much similar to what you would find when you were doing the last fight in Labyrinth of the Ancients against Legathun, because he had similar style AoE that would, was pattern based. Now everyone has to run into the perimeter or get killed. Then they have to go out and try and avoid as much damage as possible. And he's going to use the chains again. And once again, it's Zeomus. No, no, that's my wife! That's my wife! Hey, leave my wife alone, Gilgamesh! What does she ever do to you? I know you consider me your adversary, but don't drag my wife into this! What do you mean, bad hubby? I bailed you out, did I not, Sakura? I came to your rescue, your knight in shining armor. Or in this case, your dragoon in shining armor. <laughs> Either way. Oh, I'll make sure you do get defeated there, Mr. Gilgamesh. I don't care if Hildebrand does call you Greg, it means nothing to me. All that matters to me is that you get your butt handed to you. Yeah, now he's just bringing out a whole slew of AoE. Yeah, he's going on a AoE spree, as it were. Oh, watch out for the orbs. Inside. Then outside. All the while trying to avoid them. Oh, where's he go? I think we already know. Ah, damn you. Damn you, Gilgamesh. Leave my wife alone! That's not very good sportsmanship. And given how much you gained respect for the gentlemanness of Hildebrand, I'd expect you to treat my wife with a gentleman's manner. So now that the dragon heads are back out on the field, gotta destroy at least two of them. Ah, crap. We lost the healer. We're not, get, we're not getting much love here from the other AoE. Um, of course, it also would help if our bard wasn't left out of the action. Like, boy, I understand that these tanks want to get the fight on, but this is haste at its worst. Because I'm about to die. Alright, I think we're fine now. Yeah, because we couldn't have killed two more of them. We gotta deal with this, and that, and then this. Now we're just dealing with the whole AoE spectrum right now. And I have to say, it is a very colorful spectrum. Oh, who feels it now? Hold on a minute. Yeah, who else? No honor at all there, Gilgamesh. None whatsoever. Shame on you. Yeah, you claim yourself as a warrior, but you are nothing of the sort. You are a disgrace to your family. You dishonor your family. With your actions here. Alright, back over here. Well, look out. Nailed by the Masamune again. If we can get over to the double lever break, I'm gonna use it. Oh, look out! 
Yeah. Allow me. Oh, it's someone's already used it. Well, we can burn him at this point. But before too long, Gilgamesh will be defeated at last. Yeah, we got you. To think that my full complement of arms would avail me not. Yep, <laughs> too bad for you. How do you like me now? No more hijinks from Gilgamesh, you have my word. The Treaty Blade 2 I shall return, just as soon as I remember where I hid it. <laughs> you hid it, nice. Anyway, I yield to your imperial puissance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mercy finally given. As victory is ours. Oh, that was insane. But what else would you expect from the last fight in the Gilgamesh Mysteries? Eh, we'll give it to my brother. He deserves it. Thank you, Sakura. <laughs> yeah, you stay there on your hands and knees there, Gilgamesh, and don't move an inch until I tell you to. Command! Command! I command you to go to hell and sit on a red-hot coal and wait for me until it snows! And so as Gilgamesh continues to beg me for mercy, hey, look, it's his little green chicken equivalent of Enkidu. Got a question, though. How did he get chickens green there? <laughs> Not I lied again! Like a rogo kill me! You can take that fusty old blade for all I care. I thirst for true power and not save the strongest of swords will suffice. Warrior of light, you have proven a worthy opponent, but I warn you, treasure every moment with your weapon. <laughs> now look at the arsenal he possesses. For as sure as day follows night, the hour will come when I claim it as my own. Till we meet again. Yeah, you can't imagine we will be seeing Gilgamesh again eventually. But when, we cannot say. We don't know. So, let's speak with Hildebrand to bring this final mystery to a close. What hoidi? Where is Greg and his oversized avian companion? Lead me there at once and we shall deliver the coup de grace together. Uh, there'll be no need for that, Hildebrand. We got it taken care of. The battle has already been won. That is triumphant news indeed. Clearly, the lessons you have learned from me have not been for naught. And what's this you say? The treaty blade lies hidden somewhere in the nearby wood? Worry not, my loyal associate, for no buried treasure will escape the keen eye of Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. Now, which way was the forest again? <laughs> really, Hildebrand? You don't realize that we're actually in the forest? So yeah, where is the Treaty Blade? Well, it looks like our other companions have joined us. Even the sisters, even though they're supposed to be in jail right now. Edie, what news of the Primal and the Treaty Blade? Well, it went down like this. Remarkable! I knew the Warrior of Light would emerge triumphant. Let us hope that Inspector Hildebrand enjoys similar success in finding the blade. <laughs> you wish. Such design, such craftsmanship, at once bold and powerful, yet sensitive and refined. I believe I've found the inspiration for my next masterpiece. You better hope it's her clothes. Of course they're beautiful. They were the greatest treasures of lost Suda. To think that they were locked away in the vaults of those that destroyed our homeland and dragged our ancestors' names through the mud. And just how did you come to know these long-lost relics? There was an ancient scroll passed down in our family left to us by our dear grandmother. It spoke of the four warriors of light, their four relics, and an incantation of untold power. If we could have wielded this magic of legend, Ellie and I might still have had the last laugh. 
Alas, speaking of the words had no effect. Only a warrior of light can wield the power, or so the legend goes. Ah, oh, what I would have enough given to see it. The ultimate achievement of the greatest mages this film has ever known. And just what sort of incantation is this? The ring casts open the door of justice. The wise man whispers a verdict true. Azuma's virtue shines down from the heavens. To complete the incantation, the warrior of light would then hold forth a treaty blade and speak, Blade in hand I swear unto you. The legends differ as to what happens next, but all speak of a great holy radiance shining down from the heavens. Over here, friends. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire returns with tidings most triumphant. Yeah, he's got the treaty blade! <laughs> Carrying it like an Olympic torch. And digging it into the ground. Why? I don't understand, because it's an important relic. Behold, shape in my hands no other than the treaty blade. And the real one this time I swear unto you. Yes, yes, just like that. I swear to you, then... What the? My word, whatever is this old tingling sensation? R ridiculous! Hildebrand isn't a warrior of light. He's just some fool who thought he could stop the lesser moon with his own bare hands. Or so you think. It would seem that Treaty Blade is just as confused as the rest of us. No, the light! Someone stop it! I won't stand to see the legendary power of our forefathers wielded by this muscle-bound buffoon! Um, too late. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like he's got Excalibur in his hands. But he's no king, I can assure you that. And blast off! Skyward Ho! Yeah, did that really just happen? And we all can't help but be amazed by it. Well, I dare say that proved to be a most useful incantation indeed. Yeah, it's driving him away from you. And so the light of justice that shone from the treaty blade banished the shadow of returning peace to the land. So the legend ended. I must say, I never expected it to be quite literally a beam of light. I suppose it wouldn't have been much use to us after all. Inspector! Oh, Inspector, wait for me! False balls, Hildy. First you will stand your palm on his feet and now you fly off to God knows where without even giving her a kiss goodbye. <laughs> He's gonna chase after her. She's gonna chase after him too. <laughs> it appears that a case of wanderlust has once again struck Hildebrand, as it has many a wonderful man before him. Goldspeed, my boy. When the day comes that you tire of mystery solving, the old man will be here to pass on to you the family art. So in the end, the sudden incantation of legend was wielded not by a warrior of light, but a gentleman of light? Well, the treaty blade is some six centuries old after all. Perhaps it's not quite as sharp as it used to be. <laughs> no, it would seem that, wouldn't it? And of course, we're just an innocent bystander in all this. The magic that brought peace and happiness to the people of Belladia. It was every bit as beautiful as I imagined. To think I would see it with my own eyes. It's nothing short of a dream come true. He bumbles and stumbles through yet another case, and he still manages to make a girl's dreams come true. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? A gentleman to the end, the bloody bastard. Yeah, so where did he end up? That's what I want to know. Well... Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's Inspector Hildebrand Mandeville! But is that treaty blade ever gonna run out of gas? Watch this. 
the glint of the quarter of my eye, a curious scent wafting in on the winds from a far-flung land. Do I smell a case? <laughs> up, up and away! Worry not for me, my friends. For wherever wrong want for shaka, I hold a branch shall be there till we meet again. Yes. Well, will he return in the next version of Final Fantasy XIV? We will know soon enough. So, by virtue of completing this challenge, we get 5,000 gil. In addition to that, we get some Hildebrand souvenirs. We get a minion from him, and we also get to get his clothes, too. And even we can even pose like him now, if you can believe it. And so with that, the Hildebrand mysteries of Final Fantasy XIV Around Reborn are concluded. And so, to end things here with the Inspector, we get to take a trip down memory lane. As Hildebrand and Nashu do the moonwalk. And everyone dances the Mandeville. Hildebrand will return? <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, but we will indeed see if it happens. Yeah, some of those mysteries always included a stray coblin, but he finally got cut down. <laughs> but, not quite. And so, now that we have completed the final Hildebrand mystery, I pretty much have completed every side dungeon and side challenge that I wanted to do in Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. All that's left is to pick up where we left off, back at the Waking Sands, to complete the main story of Year 2. And so with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. And when I join you again, we will return to Mordona, return to the Waking Sands, and begin the final chapter of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. So, until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.